visited four sections, Revolution Manchester, Textile, Forces and Flight and the Power Hall. In Revolution Manchester, we learnt about air pressure. We found out that the garden vac could keep the ball in the air because of air pressure around it. Friction is a force between two surfaces that are sliding or trying to slide across each other. We had two teams, one on a flat smooth surface and one on a bumpy grassy surface. And the flat team won because there was less friction on there. Be because of this, we proved it would be easier for an aeroplane to land on a flat smooth surface and a bumpy grassy surface. Next we learned about magnetic forces. North and South like each other so they attract but North and North and South and South together don't like each other so they repel. We also found out that you can't take magnets on planes because they interfere with the compasses and you get lost. Next we were very lucky that Mrs Ferguson agreed to do a parachute jump. She showed us how air resistance works and how the parachute fills up with air and slowly drops back to earth. Air resistance is a type of friction. A parachute is a large area of material which stops the pe person parachuting from falling too quickly. We also visited the textile section to find out how raw cotton was made into cloth. Raw cotton was transported from countries all over all over the world, like America, Egypt and India, to Manchester. First, they put the cotton from the bales into the hopper and they started the cotton process. The cotton was then combed by the carding machine. The drawing machine adds a twist and pulls it to make the thread sh longer and stronger. The mule strengthens and untangles the fibre, making them 216 times smoother. Power loom takes the thread and turns it into a cotton cloth. We also found out lots of children worked in the mills. Many were killed or badly injured, but this didn't matter to the mill owner. They just went to the orphanage for more. We also discovered about the first flight over the Atlantic Ocean. In 1919, Winston Churchill challenged anyone to cross the Atlantic with a prize of a thousand pounds, Jack Alcock took up this challenge. On the 15th of June 1919, Jack Alcock and his mascot, Lucky Jim, crossed the Atlantic, but at the end of the journey, they crashed on landing, but and both survived. We then had the opportunity to look around the Air and Space Hall. We saw a prototype Chinook, which was a military transport helicopter with two rotors instead of one. We also saw a microlight which was manufactured in Rochdale at 1981. In Revolution Manchester, we found out how steam was made. They used coal to heat the water to create steam to inflate a balloon. As more steam goes into the balloon, it gets bigger and bigger until eventually it will pop. In the powerhouse, we saw a horse shin and a diagonal engine that could power one light bulb. There was also an engine uh, built a couple of years later that provided power to the whole of Lambeth in London. We also learned how steam was used to power trains. The steam goes inside the engine, then the, it goes to the pistons, pushes them forward, moves the wheels, it starts moving. We also saw Baby, the world's first computer, was born in Manchester in 1948. We have learnt a lot from going to the museum. I hope you have learnt a lot from us.